Okay, happy holidays to everybody. It's almost New Year's Eve, just a day or two after Christmas. Yesterday, I just finished uh, doing a small upgrade for my bike. I'll show you what it is. Some of you may know or have heard of uh, the blow-by effect, you know, the blow-by stuff that increases the, the pressure inside the Milwaukee 8. So what Harley did, even before the Milwaukee 8, they had breathers. Every, actually every engine has breathers, but it, at Harley, on the Harleys is around the carburetor and the throttle body. These two bolts over here uh, allow the excess air to come out right here and to comply with EPA regulations, you know, environmental environmental concerns. What they do is that excess air oh, a lot many times has also oil fumes, sometimes oil actually liquids coming out. So instead of dumping that out into the atmosphere, Harley said, yeah, we got a great idea. Instead of uh, dumping it down into the environment and being uh, uh, not environmentally friendly, let's use those fumes and burn them. Throw them into the, bot uh, the throttle body or to the carburetor at the time and let uh, the combustion actually burn it which is, sounds right, sounds like a good solution, but there's actually a lot of uh, residue and leftover shit going into the piston after it's being burnt, and there's always a cover, like a layer of, you know, of shit, of, of carbon buildup and uh, disgusting stuff that builds up slowly, slowly on the top of the cylinder head. And a lot of side effects because of that. The over time, the compression ratio changes over time. A lot of uh, this stuff gunk is thrown in between uh, the rings, the cylinder and, and the piston and creates scars and mars and you know, it's not a healthy thing. So a lot of companies out there put up uh, some kind of method to have this breather instead of going back into the throttle body and being burnt to actually being uh, expelled out using different kind of drainages or hoses or anything that would actually let the air out, but collect that oil uh, into some uh, some place. I've seen a few methods out there that people did. I did my research and I found actually a simple way, I call it a cheap way, a do-it-yourself way. And let me show you, I did it yesterday and then I'll show you what it looks like now once we're done with the install. So now let's see how much, how bad my air cleaner is. Let's open it up and see how much oil we have over here. Ah, oh, should have seen that. Not that bad. Not that bad, but still, there's oil. There is definitely oil. Not a lot, but there is. You know what? I'm actually surprised that it's pretty dry not a lot of oil at all let's see okay so you can definitely see the bottom over here let me show you you do see the the oil build up over here a lot of this oil or this oil was being sucked into the cylinder heads and being burnt and leaving a uh, carbon residue and build up on the pistons but not bad actually so actually i'm not sure if the, the lack or the very small amounts of oil I have over here in the filter is because I did the uh, Trask breather or because I never actually checked after I installed the Trask breather, never checked, uh, never opened up the oil filter. I mean the, the air filter, the air cleaner. And somebody asked me, how did I get my filter? How did I get it to be black? Because uh, when it, you originally get it, it's red. So if you want to get it black, just don't clean it because <laughs> you can see the back where it doesn't hit much air it's still red so pretty much the front is uh, where uh, the road dust and grime and disgustingness and fumes everything that's where it hits and that's, that it turns black I got by the way a K&N kit I should be getting it today uh, you know to clean this up so I'm gonna use it later as soap or whatever detergent it uses and then you oil it with the red uh, oil so currently this SNS uh, air filter, air cleaner, the way it works is these bolts are designed in such a way that they let the air, the fumes and the air coming from the heads to go in and then they stop right over here and there's like a little channel that lets the air and 
the oil out to here from the bolt the inside the bolt then it's diverted out to here and then it's sucked into the to the throttle body so what i'm gonna do is i'm uh, taking the original this is what the original bolts that came i'm gonna replace this with this so what it's gonna do it's gonna let the air and the oil fumes come directly out over here is where i'm gonna connect the black hose and take it all around the cleaner the air cleaner and divert it down to the ground into the catch can you see how this is built the oil on the fumes and the air from within the engine penetrate through here through this channel and then they're diverted to the side and from the side it goes right here that little channel it goes through there through the plastic or through and goes out to here and then the oil is sucked in now let's do the other side So I put the, the cover back on so I can get a proper fitment. I need to get this hose right over here. Here's no problem, it's gonna be through the filter itself. But here is a bit of a, tr a tricky little spot. So these are the two hoses that I connected. I put a little zip tie at the end. So it, the, the tip is more rigid because there's not a lot of meat on this bolt. So now it's holding pretty tight. Only concern about this when I try to bend it. Now I'll meet them up on the bottom right here. A brass tee that I uh, touched it up with some black Sharpie. This hose goes underneath and meets a tee with the hose from this side as well. That tee on the bottom. Oh, can you see it down there? And the hose goes all the way down to the bottom right here in front. And ends up over here on the bottom. And I'm going to put a catch can over there. The catch can, I'll show you the catch can. is something I bought on eBay. Aluminum filter that I uh, converted into a, a catch can. It's not my idea. I've seen other uh, people do it online. Great idea. Who knows, maybe this is all for nothing because I didn't have a lot of oil coming in over there. And maybe the trans transmission cover, the vented one, is the one that actually stopped all the blow, I mean, all the oil coming out so maybe that's what did it but anyway just in case this is my improvised catch can i found it on ebay link down by the description it's made of aluminum i got it in black an inline fuel filter there was a filter over here that i just threw away what i did is just blocked this side with uh with epoxy steel epoxy i drilled four holes on the top so it breathes so when air and oil come in from the top from here the air can go out and the oil can drip down and be collected on the bottom. Lock this up and connect it to my hose. And there you have it. That's gonna go on the hose. Take a look, done yesterday. This is what it looks like. That is the hose that goes. That is pretty much the only part that is exposed, I think. And there's the second one that goes over here. It goes underneath the whole throttle body assembly there's that t and there's the hose goes all the way to the bottom let me show you the catch can right here there's my catch can right there i think it looks pretty cool i promise to revisit it come back in a few months to see if there's actually any oil in that catch can if there's oil that means that oil went out and did not be and was not burnt by the engine, which uh, which uh, does actually show that it's a good thing I did this because otherwise that oil will be burnt and uh, stuck in the cylinders and the pistons. Also, as I said yesterday, a few weeks ago, I actually installed a Trask breathing transmission cover. And that is supposedly also lets, it adds another breather to the engine, another breather to the engine, letting the engine fumes the engine over pressure that the pressure that's being built up to vent out and not cause the high pressure and the overpressure to get all the way to the top. So maybe the Trask 
breather is actually the one that's that's releasing all the excess pressure and there's no more oil and high bl uh, high blood pressure high engine uh, high engine oil blood pressure going all the way up and into that catch can so all these methods together contribute and help to lower the high pressure inside the the crankcase so uh, that's your decision. I'm not pushing anything. I'm just telling you how I did. I'll have links down by the description, how I did, uh, the, the items I used. And that's it. Hope this was informative. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Amazon. Amazon came here quick. Canned in. I bought it myself. Nobody gave it to me. A perfect kit to clean up the filter and then spray it with uh, the red oil. I promise you I'll do it. Let's do it. Dirty. Dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. That's the oil. That's the detergent, the spray, the cleaner, whatever it is. I'll be back in ten minutes. Ten minutes later. Inside out. This is the second time I'm doing it already. Now you're supposed to let it dry by itself, meaning like don't heat it up or anything. I'm just gonna clear it up from all the excess water. I'm gonna clear it up using my... Uh... dry and room temperature okay three hours later this is completely dry i'm indoors it's night i have to get it done by tomorrow I'm gonna apply the oil gently and carefully hopefully i can do it carefully let it drip put it on the top and let it drip in As you can see, it spreads down. Let it spread and then let it dry up as well.